Hey. Hi, what's up? Hello. What's Hi. up? What up, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> that was so disgusting. Never ever do that again. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here once again with the Alpha Sisters. What up? What up? This is Alana. <laughs> this is Manny. <laughs> yes, Matt, yes. <laughs> Maddie. Maddie. Yeah. People have trouble sometimes. That really was like hard on the mouth. I yeah. don't know. I couldn't. It happens. Really I should probably just change my name. <laughs> you should. Honestly, yeah, you yeah. should. We are here, back here again today to do another makeup tutorial. If you guys didn't catch the last video that I did with the Alper sisters, you probably should because it was awesome. They pretty much just made me over, did a very similar look to what I normally like to do, but I mean, it was a lot better and like elevated because they're pros. I do the makeup and Maddie does the hair. I do the hair. And they're amazing and so, so good. And I really wanted to bring them on my channel. I said this in the first video, but I'm gonna say it again because I feel like it brings a different perspective to hair and makeup, something that I can't personally bring because I'm not a working makeup or hair artist. And I just think it's really cool for you guys to see how other people would work on my face since you typically just see me do makeup and hair on myself. So I brought them here. They're awesome. Today we are going to be doing um, a little bit more of like an editorial look. It's gonna be a very colorful makeup look, something very outside of my own comfort zone, so I hope you guys are excited to see something a little bit different on me. I would love if you guys could let me know in the comments what other types of looks you'd like to see some pros do on me. Let's put on some makeup. Okay, let's do this. So I always love to start on a clean canvas, and the first thing I do is skincare. She actually told me to exfoliate my face. Yes, I did. Which so I found to be a little bit offensive. <laughs> Jamie just tends to be a little bit dry in her T-zone area. Your face is your canvas, and I want the makeup to, to apply and look the best it could possibly look. So I'm gonna go in with Alper Oils Dream Beam. So this is um, a product that my sister and I created. And it is 100% natural, non-toxic, all oil-based. We hand blend everything. And this oil is incredible for um, as a primer before your makeup. If you have an unwanted zit that you wanna dry out, this is your best friend. Um, eczema, toning the skin, hydrating the skin. So it's sort of like an all in one -er. This is the nicest part. Mm. Mm -hmm. You need it after that exfoliating. I do. I'm gonna use the Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer from First Day Beauty. First Day Beauty. I love this with the oil because it's super lightweight, unscented moisturizer. Pretty much apply it the same way. Once again, always being super gentle on the skin. I'm gonna <laughs> go in with the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. Ooh. I love that one. Wait, is that for eyes? Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. I don't think it's for eyes. It's for No, eyes, it's but not, but you know what? I, I've been using it as an eye cream. Oh, interesting. So, uh, hello. It's my biggest pet peeve when people get dry under their eyes. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice one, it's very silky. Yeah, it's really light. So, I mean, we explained this a lot in the first video, so it didn't want to be too redundant, but we explained how skincare is probably like the most important step in any routine. I mean, I've I've said this to you guys a million times, just myself, like when I apply my makeup, that I spend a lot of time like moisturizing and prepping my skin because, I mean, you could have the nicest base, the nicest products, but if your skin isn't properly prepped, it's just not gonna sit nicely. So you definitely wanna spend that a little bit of extra time prepping it. Ooh, is this a different foundation we're gonna use? Yeah, oh my so God. I'm gonna go into my Bobbi Brown. I don't know what this is called. It's a little foundation palette. It's like, it has, so it has all these concealers and all of these foundations. And as a makeup artist, I love carrying around a palette like this because it just makes it so much, so much easier for me. Cream foundations, when used correctly, can just be so beautiful, natural looking. If you apply too, it could go like two ways. Like if you apply too much, it'll be yeah. so heavy. But if you applied like just the perfect amount, it's just beautiful. Mm. So I'm gonna be starting with um, the skin. Well, not really. I'm really just applying foundation, and then uh, I'm gonna go into the eye makeup afterwards. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's interesting that you didn't start off with the eyes today, especially since we're doing such a I know, but crazy you know moment. what? I'm I'm a little bit I'm still not a hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do. Okay. And I feel like if I like bring it out, it's gonna be easier to have your foundation on before. Okay, fair. I find creams, especially like cream foundations on top of any oil to be so so nice. Yeah. It just like makes it melt into the skin. The first color I'm gonna use is this really pretty baby blue here. Um, it's called Filter. This is a Lime Crime palette. It's the Venus 2. And I actually haven't used this palette in forever, so I thought, why not bring it out? Um, I really just, this blue is like nothing I've ever seen before. And I'm just kind of dispensing the color all over the lid. 
Did you prime the eyes? I'm not, no, I didn't prime this one. Is there a reason why? Um, no. Okay. <laughs> so this is really just going all over the lid. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna go in with another brush and I'm gonna just soften everything up. Whoa, that's such a fun color. Yeah, I'm also not being too controlled with it. Um, we're gonna go back in after with concealer and just clean everything up. I'm just taking that same color and I'm running it underneath the eye. This blue is so pretty. It's so It's nice. such a fun blue. Don't I like you, that it's like it's periwinkle. Yeah, periwinkle. <gasps> Very Lady Gaga. This is gonna be the type of look that's really gonna come together only at the end. I feel yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. You're gonna be hot mess. Don't judge. It might look a bit weird at first, but don't worry, it's gonna make sense at the end. So next I'm gonna take Electric Eel by MAC. This is fun. like a classic. <laughs> you came <laughs> right in front of it. You're not a beauty guru. No. <laughs> this is a classic blue shade. So I'm gonna take it on the outer corner of the eye and I'm just gonna start adding a little bit of definition here. I'm not really going for any harsh edges with this look. Everything needs to be really soft and blended. This is making me want to fall asleep. So I'm just layering the product until I get the intensity that I want. And layering, blending, layering, blending. It's a little bit repetitive, but it's super necessary to get a really seamless look. How would you say, I mean, I wouldn't say this is like a wearable look, but how would you say is the best way, like the best wearable way to wear color? Ooh. Um, I love to do that with in like a liner form. Mm -hmm. Like a liner, like... I could like wet my brush and dip it into the shadow. Yeah. Going in with electric eel. On a smaller brush. Smaller brush, look up, taking that underneath. Do you usually like do the eyeshadow underneath before applying concealer? Yeah, always. Why is that? Um, because there's a lot, usually a lot of fallout with shadows. Mm -hmm. So I don't wanna have to redo the concealer when it's done. So I'm just taking that powder blue and I'm just making sure that everything's blended towards the lash line. By the way, Lana right now is using some face cream on a Q-tip. Yes, so I usually will go into face cream to remove any excess makeup. And so this is just irritating. the cream I used on her. So I'm going in with the Jouer Concealer. Um, what is this called? Essential. essential High Cover High Coverage in shade Custard. Is that the one that I gave you? Yeah. Have you used it yet? Yeah. Do you love, love yeah. it? It's good, eh? Yeah. You know, just love it. We love, love it. Oh my God. I love that you love, love it. It's very full coverage, but I still like that. hydrating. Yeah, it's like really, that's what I, like for me, I love a full coverage that still doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. Mm -hmm. So this is a Real Technique Sallowness Correcting Brush. Sallowness Correcting Brush? That's what it brush? says. Oh, interesting. That's such a weird name for a brush. Brushes like that are honestly the best for applying concealer because it just like airbrushes it into the skin. Exactly, and that's how we want everything to look. That's how you want your makeup to look, airbrush into the skin. And not too heavy. I'm gonna set the skin super quickly with the Ultra HD by Makeup Forever, the pressed version. Hidden pan on this, we're excited about that. <laughs> Always exciting to hit pan on anything. It's actually not exciting, because then it's like, oh fuck, I have to buy another one. You, you know what? <laughs> I feel like for most people that would be the case, but for me, I have never finished product because I, I am constantly trying new things because it's my job to do that. Right, true. So, never so I never really pen. finish anything. So are you enjoying us hitting pan? I love it. It's like very satisfying for me. I'm really happy for so you So next I'm going to go in oh, with try. Um, <laughs> the MAC Cream Blush in the shade um, Posy. I've never used a MAC Cream Blush before. They're great. Ooh, they're actually great. And I'm going to take it on this really brush underrated. here. This is a multitask cheek brush from Real Techniques. Pretty little handle. Yeah, very pretty. And I'm kind of going to sculpt the face with this. So we're not using like a contour today. We're going to use blush to sculpt. Very 80s. Yes. And I'm actually going to kind of take it up here. Take it there. Onto the temples. Mm. Very 80s. Fun. So I didn't really want to use a crazy high coverage foundation for this look because to me the skin needs to be really light and glowy. It's mm -hmm. really more about the color. Of course. That's what, like the balance that we were talking about before. Exactly. It can't be too much everywhere. It has to like... It has to balance each other yeah, out. It has to focus in one place for it, it to work. Literally be too literal 80s to have heavy face mm. and heavy over your face. Right. We're going for a modern take. Love that. It's a modern take. Oh, it's always a modern take. She's a modern 80s woman. <laughs> uh, I should have worn my power blazer. I have a power blazer! Stop. Oh my god. <gasps> a pink one! Stop! Oh! So who inspired you for this um, look? So this was Nikki Makeup. I'm not sure her full name. Nikki you know Makeup. It? Yeah, um, she did this with... First um, name Nikki, last name Makeup. <laughs> she did a red lip with like a lavender eye. Oh, so this so is kind of my take on the look. Yeah, she sent it to me. She's like, this is what I'm thinking for that second look. I was, she like, was like, done yes, and bitch, done. Yes. 
<laughs> so next up going to the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Jamie gave this to me. Flippin' love this palette. It and so I'm gonna mix in it does. these two. Peachy. It's um Just Peachy and Peach Punch. I'm taking it um right, it's like the inner crease and the bridge of the nose. And we're blending the pink in here. Is that to like tie in the cheek? Yeah, this is like tying, kind of adding in and tying everything together. I'm By gonna take a little bit underneath bathroom. the eye. Next, I'm gonna go into the NARS Hot Triced. I love these textures and I love this palette because to me, it's like a topper. So mm -hmm. like, I wouldn't just go ahead with the blush. Cause they're all you, very shimmery. They're very shimmery and they are pretty pigmented, but they're still a little bit lighter than your average blush. So to layer this on top of a cream, it's gonna add that nice glow and a little extra pop. So what colors are you going to I'm into? mixing these two colors here on my brush. And then we're just going where, where we put the cream, I'm going on top. See, and that's just intensifying it a little bit. We're getting a little bit of a glow there, but like very subtly. So next I'm gonna go into Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions. And I'm gonna take this deep um, navy color right here. And I'm just gonna really thinly run that against the lash line. Taking a little bit of a shimmer underneath. Okay, we're gonna do the brows and then we'll be right back just because this is takes unnecessarily long and you guys have seen brows be done quite a bit. And we did a little bit more in depth in the last one, so BRB. The brows are done. I think the next thing I'm gonna have Jamie do is curl her lashes and just go ham with mascara top and bottom. Okay, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> You're mascara and browed. So we went for a really clumpy um, nat mascara for natural lashes because I just find that it has more of a high fashion feel than doing the individuals. So I just felt like this is kind of what the look needed. So I'm gonna take my pink shade in my Dior Backstage Glow Palette to add a little more depth, in, like, depth to the cheek. So we're gonna bring that in the temple. I love this pink shade, it's so, so pretty. So now we're doing the lips. And we're gonna go for a hot pink. Mm. So this is Let's Go Crazy um, Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from NARS. <laughs> Let's go crazy. I'm gonna take this all over the lip. Oh yeah, we just took it the 80s to a whole nother level. To finish off the look, I'm gonna use this gloss here from Huda Beauty. It's the Lip Strobe in shade Mystical. So 80s, so fun. I'm gonna go change to a tube top now because we're doing something fun with the hair and it's gonna be very difficult to take this off if I don't do that. So again, be right back. All right, we're back, we are tube topped. And now we're gonna do the hair. Remember me? It's been a while. It has. So I feel like this look needs something a little bit more sleek. Yeah. A little bit edgy, but a little more understated because it's like a lot of makeup. It's going to be a wet, a wet look. look. Very sleek. Very fun, very tucked, very twins. I find sometimes when you change the part, it tends to puff up a bit. And that's nice when you want a little bit of volume, but I don't want any volume today. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle. Ooh, that's so cold. <laughs> and I'm just going to spray very lightly. I don't want it soaking wet, I just kind of want it damp. I'm going to be going in with my Dyson, a paddle brush, and I'm going to dry it down. Now I'm going to be going in with my glued Gatu Wee hairspray. You could do this with gel as well. I just want to do this with Gatu Wee because I'm going to be putting in a special product after that mm. you're going to be seeing. So I'm just gonna lift up. Isn't that one like the really intense one that the dry queens use to put down their wigs? Yeah, they put their wigs down with this. So this is very intense by the way, guys, this hairspray. Use it your discretion. So I'm kind of lifting it up, getting it at the roots and spraying it all over. I'm really going to work it down flat on Jamie's head. I wanna take it to the next level and I wanna make it look a little bit wet which is super popular nowadays. So my favorite product to use for this is an actual, it's an olive oil spray. So this is actually made for hair. So it smells really good. It's not like Pam or anything. The thing about this is it never dries. So if you're a new hair and makeup artist and you're on set and you're asked to do a wet look, you'll find that the hair tends to dry really, really quickly. And if you still want it to have a little bit of move, like if you do gel, you're done. 
there's nothing else you can do. You either have to wet it and reactivate it, right. but you can't brush it and you can't move it around, but with this you can. But I'm going to start spraying it all over. I think I'm gonna have to wash my hair after this. I mean, yeah, probably. <laughs> I was going a few days without washing my hair and I was like, it's good, I could go one more day, but no, I think, I think now's the time. Today's the day. Today's the day. I'm just kind of working it in and not over spraying it because I still wanted to see a bit of that texture you could probably see. I'm gonna keep working this in and using my hands to bring it down. It Ooh, works. That hurt. <laughs> You're like, get the fuck out, Alana. That hairstyle looks so good on you. This is so different for like literally never have I ever. So <laughs> my favorite thing about this is your hair is so <gasps> soft right we now. We should put a little clip. You're like, <gasps> put the boss pin back in. <laughs> Please. And then Or is that I'm, too much? Too much? Too much? Yeah, probably. And then I'm going to go in again with this. Just kind of on the pieces I feel like I want to clean and to keep hold. But I want to keep the ends pretty. I feel like I can only pose like this. It's the only way I'm allowed. It's so... Okay. <laughs> it's just like kind of what makeup's about, you know? Yeah, it's like having about fun trying, and experimenting. Yeah, experimenting, trying different things. Okay, we're gonna go take photos of this look. We're gonna put on a different lip, take more photos, and then do an outro. Be right back again. Um, hi, we're back. Um, we actually switched the lip just to sort of see what this would look like with a nude lip. And I gotta say, I'm obsessed with the nude lip. I think it's, I mean, it just makes it more wearable. Obviously the other one was definitely way more like fashion-y, but this mm -hmm. is like, I could wear this out and feel totally 100% comfortable in it. So for the lip, I use Pixi Nude Sticks. And then on top, I went in with the NYX Butter Gloss in Fortune shade. Cookie? Yeah! How did I Girl. know that? I didn't even look. That's my yeah. makeup intuition coming through right there. Okay. All right, guys, so that finishes off today's little glam session with the Alper sisters. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of like a funner, is that a word? Yes, more funner. fun. More, more fun, fun makeup look, something that I don't typically ever do. I love it. I would love to get your thoughts in the comments. Thanks so much for having us on your channel. Oh, you're this welcome. is really fun. Thank you guys for coming onto my channel. Looking forward to doing many more makeup looks on you. For sure. You guys, this is not the last you're going to be seeing of these of these girls because they are <laughs> A++ humans. I really love them quite a bit. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to leave all your thoughts down below. Leave some suggestions for some future videos. Um, and of course, subscribe if you want to join the fam. So that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.